Okay, so this is Dom. Uh, I've been to a yoga class a couple of times. We've met a couple of times other than that. Never coached with Dom before. Hello. Do Hello. <laughs> Dom, you said you wanted to do something around boundaries and saying no. Was that right? Yes. Okay, so what is, what is the basic issue? You find it difficult to say no? Or? Yeah, and mm -hmm. if I do say no, then I can often be easily persuaded. Oh, uh, okay. Myself, and I can't really sort of stick to my, to my no. Okay, great. So, so why don't we work with that? So um, we have a pose for no that we use in the embodied yoga. So as a yoga teacher, this is one you can add to your repertoire. So sort of a wide warrior base. Uh, so one foot forward, one and bend that front knee. And the front hand comes up. Great, and in front of your body. There we go. And this hand here on the, oh, there's a fist on the hip. Not there, but there. Great, okay, and no smile. Okay, cool. How does that, bend that knee. Bend the knee a little bit if you can. How does that feel? Fingers together. Notice how you keep opening it. <laughs> how does it feel? How does that feel for you? Familiar, not familiar, grounded. Yeah, I like the base. like the base, nice solid base. Uh -huh. It's a bit more karate than yoga, this one. And lower the hand a little bit. There we go. Great. And now try this. How's that? You can feel the energy. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? And now try defensive. Yeah, and then try just the solid no. Okay, please say no. No. Okay. Is English your first language? Or? Uh, probably Cantonese and English together. As you prefer. So any language at all. Say no. 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 Okay. Now, what do you find it hard to say no to? Is it people that are like pushy or a bit begging or nice or what do you find it hard to say no to? Um, ah. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Um, Keep breathing. A dog. Your dog. <coughs> oh, have some food. <coughs> no. <coughs> no. <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So, you know, we all have a limit. And for some people, it's the adorable dog with the big eyes. For some people, it's someone who's a bit pushy. The student is like, oh, please, please, please. You know, the student that stays longer at the end of class wanting to chat, that's a common one. Or, okay, let's try again. So we're basically just practicing. So we're using this as a little simulator. And the difference between here and real life is there's no consequences here. Okay, so you're not gonna get any trouble. There's no pr you know, problems. And also that if it's too much or too little, you can say. Does that make sense? So you're in control of if you want more or less. Who's in control? Yeah, oh, great. Let's try again if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, good. Can you relax? You don't need to smile. Keep your, find that base. Come forward with the knee. Extend from the back leg. Yeah. So treat this as like a yoga pose. You want it to be quite solid. Okay, say no again. No. 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 Okay, see so if we can do it without smiling. That's the nerves coming in. It's all right. It's very normal, very human. Most people, English people are terrible at this. Women often are trained not to do this, right? So it's something we need to relearn quite often. Yeah? No. Okay. No. No. It's just very simple as a practice. Yeah? If I'm not around, you can practice with the wall. So you can do it here. Okay, practicing no. Feeling that solid. Do you want to try with the wall? Because it's quite a nice solid feel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, either side. If you don't do things on both sides, <laughs> yoga teachers get really upset. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so here, and finding that solid feel. So you're not trying to push the wall up in, but equally you're not collapsing in, right? No. 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 Okay, what does the dog do? Does it like beg or? Excuse me, the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Say no. 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 Go away. <laughs> Keep saying no. Keep no. breathing. Keep breathing. You're a yoga teacher. You know how to breathe. So you don't have to be mean about it. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> Good. How was that? How was that? Yeah. So what do you do when your no collapses? What do What are you going to watch out for? Did you notice what you did? What did I smile and relax? Yeah. Then, yeah. Then it comes back. Yeah, so you <laughs> smile and then collapse. And then she'll be back. Yeah, the smile so collapses to be firm, yeah. And dogs are really good training because they, they, they're very sensitive to embodiments. So they're actually really good training for embodiment stuff. Okay, so Dom, 
Uh, there's a, a person in your life who will remain unnamed, who, who you struggle to say no with. So we're going to link it to plank pose. As you're a yoga teacher, this is going to be a, a good one. So in plank, you have to be pushing away or else you collapse, right? So we're linking a practice you already have, in this case yoga, to this feeling of no. Make sense? So all I want you to do is think about this, this person in question while doing the plank pose. So give it a go. Stop if it ever feels like you're hurting yourself, of course. Okay, so you're imagining that person, bring that person to mind, noticing if that maybe creates a wobble or a weakness. You might find that. <laughs> How are you doing? You're still breathing? Yeah, still breathing. And what would you tell your students if they were doing plank pose? Not to stay too long. Okay. Make sure you can breathe, make sure you can feel supported. Great. Collapse. So not collapsing the no, breathing, and coming out of it before it's overwhelming in some way. So this is something you can take away and use to build that feeling of no in the body. You can incorporate it into your practice. And I, I like these principles of staying relaxed, breathing and, and stopping before it becomes too much, yeah? Okay, so coming out of that. Okay, so if you were with this person and they were like, blah, 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 can you keep that feeling while talking to them? Make sense? Yeah, so say no. No, with that feeling like the same as you would have for plank, yeah? yeah. Make sense? Yes. Cool. Just for fun, let's play the same playing no game at the end. Here's how it works. Okay. Every time I ask you something, you have to say no. Cool? Okay. Uh, no, you got it wrong. Uh, okay, no. so do you want to play the game? <laughs> no. Oh, please? No. Dom. No. Help Dom, this is on the camera. Help me out. No. Please, not Dom. It's just a simple thing. I've known you for years. Come on, you can at least play the game. No. Dom, play the game. No. Play the game. No. Okay, good, you won. <laughs> good work. Okay, so another person wanted to work with boundaries. We've seen two today. So last time I worked with walking towards someone, this time we used a pose just for a bit of variety. Also, Dom's a yoga teacher, so it made sense to give her a pose. Uh, and then I realized that plank, uh, this is common yoga pose that she teaches, I'm sure. So I realized she could actually feed that into her practice. If people already have a practice, why give them something new? Why not build it in? So, um, and the same basic principles of calibration around the, around the practice.